Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about inflation and Phillips curve analysis. Phillips curve is given by A.W. Phillips and Phillips curve mainly tells us stable and inverse relation between unemployment and inflation. Phillips curve mainly tells us stable and inverse relation between unemployment and inflation. That means when inflation increase, unemployment fall. When inflation fall, unemployment will increase. But why inflation and unemployment have an inverse relation? If inflation increase, that means prices of goods and services are increasing. If prices of goods and services are increasing, that means profit of producer is increasing. Obviously, now he is selling his product at higher price, his profit will increase. And this increased profit will motivate him to produce more. As a result, production will increase. Obviously, when production increases, he will hire more employees. And if he is hiring more employees, that means unemployment will reduce in economy. So, we can say that when inflation increases, unemployment will reduce in economy. On the other hand, if inflation falls, that means prices of goods and services are reducing. If price is reducing, profit of producer is reducing. As a result, production will reduce. So, he will not hire new employees, even start firing his existing employees. So, we can say that inflation and unemployment have an inverse relation according to Phillips curve. When inflation increase, unemployment fall. When inflation fall, unemployment increase. Same thing you can see in this diagram. On x-axis, we have unemployment and y-axis, we have inflation. You can see when inflation increase from 5 to 10 percent, unemployment fall from 10 to 5 percent. Similar when inflation fall from 10 to 5 percent, unemployment, unemployment increase from 5 to 10 percent. And this PC curve will be called our flips curve which shows inverse relation between unemployment and inflation. Concept of flips curve was very popular during 1960. But this concept was failed during 1970. That's why this time period will be called breakdown of Phillips curve because Phillips curve was not able to explain the concept of stagflation. As we know, according to Phillips curve, unemployment and inflation have an inverse relation. But during stagflation, inflation and unemployment both increases. And Phillips curve was not able to explain the concept of stagflation. That's why Phillips curve was failed and this period will be called breakdown of Phillips curve. Then, one American economist, Friedman, offered a new explanation of Phillips curve. According to Friedman, at short time period, it can be possible unemployment and inflation have an inverse relation, but at long time period, there is no relation between unemployment and inflation. But why at short time period, unemployment and inflation have an inverse relation, but at long time period, there is no relation between unemployment and inflation? First of all, we will see why at short time period, unemployment and inflation have an inverse relation. As we know, when inflation increase, prices of goods and services increase. When prices increase, real wages of employees fall. Real wages mainly tell us purchasing power of employees. Or we can say that real wages mainly tell us how much goods and services we can buy with particular amount of money. If prices increase, that means now we can buy only few goods and services with particular amount of money because of higher prices. At short time period, employees are not able to realize because of high prices, their real wages are reducing. That's why they don't demand for higher wage rate. If employees don't demand for higher wage rate, that means cost of producer will not increase, their profit will not reduce. That's why they will hire more and more employees. As a result, unemployment will fall in economy. So, we can say that at short time period when inflation increase, unemployment fall because employees are not able to realize because of higher prices, their real wages are reducing, their purchasing power is reducing. But at long time period, employees have become experienced. Through their experience, they have learned because of prices, their real wages is falling, their purchasing power is falling. They are not able to buy so much goods and services with particular amount of goods because of higher prices. That's why they demand for higher wages. When employees demand for higher wages, that means cost of producer increase, their profit fall. 
if their profit is continuous falling that means they will not hire more employees as a result when prices increase inflation increase unemployment will not reduce in economy so we can say that short time period unemployment and inflation have an inverse relation but at long time period there is no relation between unemployment and inflation now with the help of this diagram we will clearly understand concept of flips curve in this diagram on x axis we have unemployment rate and y axis we have inflation this srpc 1 and srpc 2 are short run flip curve which mainly tell us inverse relation between unemployment and inflation this vertical line lrpc is long run flip curve which mainly tell us at long time period there is no relation between unemployment and inflation a is our initial equilibrium point at this equilibrium point you can see unemployment rate is 6% and inflation rate is 2% and now suppose inflation increase in economy from 2 to 8% as inflation increase our unemployment fall from 6 to 3% percent. our new equilibrium point is b which shows inverse relation between inflation and unemployment as inflation increase from 8 to 2 to 8% percent. as a result our unemployment reduce from 6 to 3% percent. and b is our um, new equilibrium point but according to friedman this b is unstable equilibrium point this is only short time period equilibrium point because at short time period it can be possible in worse relation between inflation and unemployment but at long time period there is no relation between inflation and unemployment because at long time period employees can realized because of inflation their real wage rate is continuous reducing that's why they will demand for higher wage rate if they demand for higher wage rate profit of producer will fall as a result they will not hire more employees even they start firing their existing employees when employer start firing their existing employees and is not hiring more new employees as a result unemployment will increase again in economy so economy will move from b to c point at this c point you can see our inflation has increased from 2 to 8 percent but unemployment rate is same 6 percent as we earlier had at this a point so we can say that at long time period there is no relation between inflation and unemployment it can be possible at short time period some relation or we can say an inverse relation between inflation and unemployment so this is all about inflation and flips curve analysis i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care